information we should me right now is that men do two most lucrative jobs right now one is male prostitution <laughs> according to what i heard is that the number of male prostitutes right now is way higher than female prostitutes so they go around hanging out and wear these said rich wealthy women go for shopping and whatnot they spend a good amount of their funds having a good haircut having clean teeth taking care of their grooming themselves to look appealing you know seducing married women and another thing that is the most lucrative for them right now is that they sell their spam you heard me so this spam go for between 250 to 400 thousand depending on the history of the man depending on what the client is looking for if the client is looking for a tall shabby baby he'll be looking for a man that have those look or have those um things in his gene those kind of uh, spam could go as high as 350 and a man that has have aced his paper is well read well educated his spam could go as high as 400,000 so these are the things that men are doing right now for money um yeah <laughs> i'll leave you to be the judge of that can somebody help to tell me what was shijima's offense again she's nigerian and mozambique descent right but she's a full south african according to the organizers of miss south africa 2024 or maybe she wasn't black enough no 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 no. i don't think her offense is that she wasn't black enough i think her offense is that she wasn't white enough she doesn't look like the colonial masters enough because why will you go and crown the whitest of them all miss south africa it is africa south africa they are majorly black people the winner is a Dutch descent. So maybe Shilima was not white enough. I think the joke is on South Africa. The xenophobia, no matter how much you guys wear it as a perfume, it still doesn't look good on you guys. And I think at this point, all South Africans have to go and spray paint themselves white spray. All black South Africans, because at this point, it's obvious that you do not like anything black and you don't like yourself. It speaks more about South Africans rather than Shidema because I know this baby girl was so higher than you guys expect. Good luck to the new whitest, blackest or blackish Miss South Africa. Good luck to you, baby girl. This woman just came into the country and just like that, she tore her husband's international passport, guys. Take a look at this video. It is so funny how every time you ask men not to talk, look at how the husband is just there looking at her. Why will you just like that decide to tear your husband's international passport? And according to people that was on this flight with them, they say this is how the woman has been complaining and being dramatic all throughout the flight and this is what i'm talking about that some people are definitely married to their enemies no matter what you tell me look at how the immigration officers are just there laughing and just doing nothing forgetting that it is against the law for any other person to touch another person's passport is she trying to be like oh nobody can arrest her nobody can touch her that in nigeria she's above the law that this is a country where you can do anything and get away with it. When we talk about this thing, a lot of people will be like, oh, the man should just forgive. And there's also a video where she's saying, oh, people should have understand that she's not even a mad woman. Are you sure you're not a mad woman? Imagine this conversation where somebody is saying, have y'all ever been a side chick? No shaming here. And then this lady goes to say, yes almost 13 years just ended it in january of 2024 this woman started stalking me and i didn't take it lightly i felt like he thought it was funny but i felt like nah this is serious i felt like it was his responsibility to protect me she said a whole lot of other things in my own head i was like 13 years a side shake so you don't have plans to get married you don't want to have your own family you don't want to start a life of your own so somebody that was also thinking the same thing with me of course now goes to say 13 years a side shake 
Aish, was he ever your side nigga if you didn't date during that time? Now this person goes ahead to reply, I am married anyway. The entire time we dated, we had a whole life. So she was not a single side chick. She was married. They were traveling, they were dating, they were having a whole life. This is somebody's wife. For 13 years, she has been sneaking behind her husband's nose in the husband's house and doing this kind of atrocity. My mind is blown. They come publicly now to display their acts of stupidity. So let's take a look at what I saw off internet. Like, read this message with me. It says, my neighbor caught me. He has been suspecting her, so he planted camera in his house, he invited me for a brief talk and showed me a video of me fucking his wife. Omo, I started begging because of my reputation. This man fucked me like mad before he forgave me. So he goes ahead to say, now I don't know if I'm gay or still straight. I am traumatized. I spoke to my wife about it and she said she will leave the marriage because she can't have a gay man as her husband please what should i do now i need advice i'll be in the comment section now i don't even care about the advice this man is looking for but i can't even make sense about this situation what do you mean by he fucked him so when you catch somebody cheating now the other thing to do is to retaliate in this same way where is the word going to? I am in utmost shock and to say that I am speechless is an understatement. What do you guys think? Apparently, the most lucrative job now for women is selling their eggs. Take a look at this video. This is what I do for this very when we do. So now they sell on an egg. When they on a belly, when they go use produce children later. On a sell and they give daughter just because they want buy boomies coins. You don't know how many active ones when you get, when you go use later. You don't know your fertility status, how it go be later. But of course, I've heard women that also do this in Lagos. They sell their eggs for women that have infertility issues, which is also a beautiful thing. But the thing is that the purpose of eggs being sold and the purpose of surrogacy has become a new line of business for women in Nigeria. You see women that don't even know the reason why they are selling their eggs or why they want to be a surrogate mom without even knowing their own fertility status. What is this world becoming? What is this life becoming? When women feel like selling their eggs is a way of life. You sell your eggs to pay your rent, you sell your eggs to buy clothes, you sell your eggs to buy wig, you sell your eggs to impress other women. Do people actually understand the implication of the things that they are doing? Do they?